What's up, everybody? Hi, Martha. Hi, Isaiah. Hi, guys. Quavo. <laughs> Where's Quavo at? I need to look for him. Like Quavo. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you guys unmute yourselves and say hi during these first five minutes while people still trickle in. You can unmute yourself. Hi, Kimberly. Dang, dang. Oh, no. Dang, dang, Quadro. <laughs> what up? <laughs> Umu, what's up? Where's Umu? Umu, Umu. Right hi, honey. Hi, hi Umu. <laughs> Let me see, I Welcome know. back. Fala, what's good? Hi, Mr. Isaiah. Hi. Sassy Hello. Turtle. How you doing, Chase? Noah? <laughs> Isaiah, Ariana, how you doing, Hope? Hope Siding. Where's Hope? Hi. Don't hide, Hope. <laughs> how you doing, Ariana? Hello. Josiah. Hello. All right, all right. We got the we got Maria. Chase Princella, is here. And Ash Haiti is in. here. Haiti, I love your screen. It's a little chibi character, so cute. <laughs> we'll give it about three more minutes. Um, how's everybody feeling this week, man? Mm -hmm. So so good. Uh, good. Some of us are good. Hi, Jayla. Good. Yeah, no. Jayla was popping. <laughs> Come sit. Jayla, we miss you. Oy. Everyone, Chloe says hello. Hi, Chloe. Hi, let, 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 let's zoom in on Chloe. Where's our <laughs> zoom in on Chloe. Hi, Nana. <laughs> Chloe, Chloe said hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's up, Sassy Turtle? I'm looking for you, man. Oh, I see you right there. <laughs> I see some of us are snacking, still waking up. The other Barry, what's up? Talk to the people when you. Uh, all on. right, now we're just letting people come in, but I think we'll get this started and we'll let people in as they come in. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Neighborhood United's virtual art tour this week. We have a special guest with us, uh, Mr. Michael Kelly Williams. Give him a great round of applause. Glad to be with you all. Um, uh, uh, we have a, a selection of um, some of my artwork that we're going to be exploring and walking through. And I'm looking forward to answering uh, questions from all of you. So, um, oh, ah, uh, you got muted. Sorry. Oh, yeah. All right. Yes. Um, so, I was, as as I was saying, um, um, I'm uh, very happy to um, uh, be uh, able to share. Uh, my artwork with you and um, I'm looking forward to um, the questions that you that you have for me I've, I've been an artist all my life um, so uh, you know um, this is an opportunity to really um, you know uh, um, a, a thor a thoroughly uh, uh, ex explore you know um, another you know artist's work All right, guys, I'm going to share my screen and we're going to get started with our tour. All right, let me present. Welcome, welcome all Canvas Kids Art Tour with Mr. Michael Kelly Williams. 
Uh, this is our contact information uh, for any information about any of our classes, donations, or any partnerships, neighborhoodun.org. And our email is neighborhoodunitedny at gmail.com. You can also follow us on social media, Instagram at neighborhoodun. I'll keep that part brief and move on to the part you guys want to get interested in. In the participants panel, um, you guys can rename yourselves to your actual name or the epic, sac the epic sassy turtle, whatever name you choose. Um, so you can go ahead and do that and whatever name you, you want us to call you, um, definitely make sure it's appropriate. You can name yourself that and use the raise your hand icon to let us know that you would like to like ask a question. Um, the raise your hand icon is gonna be where the participants you, sh you should see it, um, it should come up when you see yourself in a little box. If you press on the three dots, you should see something for you to raise your hand or you should see it on the black bar. When you press more, you should see it raise your hand somewhere. Uh, can we practice raising our hand real quick and see if some of us, oh, Hadija already got her hand raised. All right, all right, cool. All right, just testing it. Okay, you can put it away now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Hadija you guys know to... had it. Sorry, who's saying? Yes. Hadija had it for a minute. I think maybe she has an actual question. Oh, so yeah. Um, let her let her unmute herself. Sorry, Hadija. No. Nope. Are you there, sweetie? Hadija, did you have a question or were you just testing it out? <laughs> Hadija, you can unmute yourself. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> okay. All right. Mr. Yada Berry, um, yes. we got a friend that looks like their name is a typo, so we need you to fix that name, whoever you are. J6, uh, we can't even pronounce your name. All right. Well, so friends, just while Mr. Yadaveri is talking, we just want to make sure that we rename ourselves to the name that we want to use for this class, okay? So it can be your name, it can be a nickname that you want us to call you, but we want to change our name, okay? It has to be, we have to be able to pronounce it is the most important thing. <laughs> <laughs> For real. All right, we're gonna get started now. So this is a brief biography, well, some points of Mr. Michael Kelly Williams and what we know about him so far. So uh, going online and like doing a little research, I found out that he was born in France. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about that. That's an interesting place for an American to be born, but we'll see, we'll see on the background story to that. He grew up in Detroit, Michigan, which is in the Midwest. Uh, it's some hours away from New York. He had a passion for printmaking and sculpture very early in his life story. His journey led him from college in Michigan to New York City in the late 70s. That was a while back. I wasn't even born yet. <laughs> uh, he's a prolific creator of artworks located in museums, centers, private collections, and many places around the world. And this is his website. If you want to reach out to him, contact him, or see other works that's not presented here at michaelkellywilliams.com. Um, so if you look to this left side, you'll see uh, some works that Mr. Williams has actually done that have been lived in New York City. The one at the top, which is the Liturgy of Lennox Lounge, this is actually on 124th and Lennox. Uh, Mr. Williams, for about how many years was this? Oh, well, uh, uh, that was up for um, uh, al almost a year. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's, no longer, it's no longer up. Yeah. Um, so it was a temporary piece. Um, I was actually um, uh, uh, bringing um, a, a, a focus of attention to the fact that the Lennox Lounge, a, uh, a historic jazz club in Harlem um, uh, was was no longer um, uh, uh, this this piece was placed uh, 
practically across the street. It was put in the middle of the street, almost across the street from uh, where the club was. Uh, well, the facade of the club was still there. That is the sh the the um, the building was 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 still there, but uh, the club um, uh, was no longer open uh, due to gentrification. So. Um, uh, I was, in a, in a sense, using my art to make a statement about the loss of a historic jazz club that existed for over 70 years. Um, uh, and uh, it was a, a very, it was just very important. So the, the piece is made up of uh, found materials. Um, uh, you can see um, it, it was, um, there are there are records, LPs, uh, CDs, um, uh, different uh, references to music um, uh, covering this piece. That was uh, 2016. It's now in my studio, um, and I've embellished it even more now. So it has has a lot more objects on it. It's uh, eight feet tall. Wow. Um, and there's a there's a there's a there's an armature, and that what that means is there's a skeletal structure inside uh, that is very strong uh, because it um, it actually had to withstand being hit by a car. <laughs> no, <laughs> it, it, it was it, it was bolted it was bolted to the cement um, uh, 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 sidewalk. Got it. Yes. That's pretty cool. And then there's this also this one down here, which is actually in the Bronx. Yes. Not so far, maybe from some of you at Interville Avenue. Right. That, um, uh, uh, this was uh, installed uh, um, there in, in, in 1992. Um, this is glass mosaics. Um, so this was one of the, the earlier, you see, uh, uh, when a when a subway is um, is being refurbished, or um, actually um, the subway here was burned back in the day, and the the city wasn't going to uh, put it put the subway station back, but the but the the community and merchants uh, dem uh, demanded that it be replaced. Uh, when uh, when uh, there's uh, a, 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 there's a need for um, um, fixing these stations up, there's a percent for art, um, and artists um, through a, a slide bank, um, a, you know, a, a jurors select work to be placed in these stations. So um, uh, you'll see, um, and mosaics because mosaic is a um, um, is, mosaic is made up of little pieces of tile or glass that's glued uh, or um, in, uh, put into cement. So it becomes part of the wall um, and is very permanent. Uh, if, you, if, if you go to Italy or Greece, you can see mosaics that are thousands of years old. Um, it's a very strong uh, material, um, uh, medium. Yeah, I have a quick question. This is right after that time period where they call it, say the Bronx was burning. That's right. Yes, that's right. I had a studio very close um, uh, on Longwood Avenue. Um, there was there's a school. That, uh, well, it, it's now back to being a school, but in uh, back in the um, uh, late uh, late seventies, early eighties, um, this was an abandoned school. PS thirty nine. It is now um, a, a school again. Uh, but at, at that time, I had a studio, art studio, in in that um, building, along with other artists. Um, Popon Osorio, uh, Fred Wilson ran a gallery, uh, the gallery for the Bronx Council. Actually, the Bronx Council of the Arts um, subsidized the artist spaces. That is, um, they they, um, um, and they 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 were in charge of the artist resident spaces. So I was, I was there for many years. I had a studio there. Cool. So Mr. I mean, right now I want to open it up to any of the kids 
Did any of you have any questions so far about some of the things that Mr. Williams showed or talked about? Maybe being born in France, the mosaics in the train station, and the statue in Harlem. Any quick questions to start? Mr. Yadaberry, fun fact. Yeah. A lot of kids on this call right now actually go to the school that used to be uh, your studio. Really? That's Excellent. A of, it's a lot of kids uh, I, go, right uh, now go to that school. Excellent. Uh, I, 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 I do know that um, uh, Colin, Colin Powell mm -hmm. went to that school. Wow. Yes, and, and also uh, Luis Cancel, who was a past director of the Bronx Museum as well as commissioner of art in the city, he went to that school too. Wow, a lot of great yeah. came from that school. I think we got a yeah. question from a scholar too. Yes, oh. we have Jayla. Jayla, Jayla. Honey, you have a question? My question is, because he was born in somewhere where it's very beautiful and he can be very inspired, how do you feel when you did your art pieces? Um, I, I can't, I couldn't really hear the question. Um, I think Speak up into the microphone, Jayla. <clears throat> oh, no, oh, you're muted, you're muted still. Yeah, you're muted, hon. <laughs> There we go. Still muted, Jayla. Oh. <laughs> oh, you got it now. How did you feel when you were creating your art pieces? Oh, how do I feel when I'm creating my artwork? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the question. Oh, oh I, I feel, um, I, I've always felt uh, very happy when I'm working on my art. Um, in fact, um, uh, you know, um, mm -hmm. You know, it, it's something I, I just love to do. Um, so it, it gives me great pleasure, um, uh, you know, uh, 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 const constantly. The, the artist is there for me. And it, um, it um, actually, it, um, when I create something I like, um, it, um, it's like looking in a, a mirror. You know, it's, it, it's really, it's, um, it's very sustaining for me. I feel very good. All right. All right. Thank you, Jayla. We have Rama next. Rama, you may take off the mic and you can speak. Who inspired you to start doing art? Oh, Ooh, wonderful uh, question. Yeah, that, that is a great question. Um, and um, uh, my, see, my father was an artist. And uh, that's, that's how I came to be born in France um, after the... After after the Second World War, um, my father um, uh, was on the GI Bill. That is, um, there's, um, uh, there, there are funds for um, uh, uh, people that are in the service. Um, it's, called, it's called the GI Bill. And um, my, father, my father used this money to go to Europe to study art. Um, my, uh, both, my, both my parents were Americans, and because both my parents were Americans, um, uh, I, I was an American citizen automatically, um, you know, even though I was born um, in another country. So um, then um, after, after, uh, after the, the funds ran out, um, I, was on, uh, I was five years old when I came to the States, uh, to Detroit. And, uh, that's where I grew up, and I, uh, I don't, I don't really have a connection with France. Um, uh, I, I consider Detroit, uh, you know, where I grew up, and um, um, the the early influences like music and so on. I uh, attribute to being born in, in Detroit. Mm. Shout out to D Town. <laughs> All yes. right, Hadija, you're next up, and then. Raif, I hope I'm saying that right, but correct me if I'm wrong. After after Hadija's question, you ask your question, and we're going to start our actual tour. I actually have two questions. Okay, Hadija. My first question is, did you, did you ever feel this kind of way that you wanted to, because you didn't like your artwork and you wanted to give up, but someone convinced you not to? 
Uh, well, um, uh, this is a very good question. Um, uh, um, I've had, um, well, let, let me say this. Um, I really love art um, so much. At times, um, it has been very difficult. Um, that, let me say that my, my parents, um, my mother in particular, wanted me to, um, uh, to do something else because it's, it's hard being an artist. Uh, it's hard being an artist, but uh, that is to say um, an artist, well, you have to get like, um, you know, a regular job to pay for things and, and you do your art at the same time. So it's, it's kind of, uh, you know, you, 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 but uh, for me, the, the love of the art and what I got from the art was, was so important to me that, um, you know, I just, I never gave up. Okay. Uh, it, it, it is hard. And uh, uh, this is a very good question because what, um, okay. Uh, what you have to do if you, if you really love your art, you uh, have to believe in yourself, okay? You believe in yourself and you believe in your art um, and you, um, in, a, in a way, all right, it, it's kind of like, you know, have you, uh, uh, you, have you heard of Muhammad Ali, the great boxer? He believed in himself and he would say, I'm the greatest, he's the greatest. Uh, and, and okay, uh, this isn't, I think that all artists have to have a, a, an ego to the extent that they don't give up. Octa Octavia Butler, the great novelist, she wrote in her journals, uh, I, will, uh, I will write um, uh, uh, novels and I will get published and I will, and she, she, uh, she uh, uh, pages of what she's going to accomplish, um, believing in herself. And it's, it's kind of like a, a, a mantra and uh, um, that uh, you, you build up um, in, a, in a way you build up um, a shield, an armor, uh, you know, to go forward. I hope I answered this question. It's, it's very important, but you have to build, believe in yourself and you, um, and you surround yourself with people that believe in you and uh, like-minded like-minded people okay that believe in you and and your art and you get the positive feedback to go forward with it and you don't you don't give up did you have another question Hadija thank you Mr. Williams for that answer yeah. that uh, was uh, really uh, one, 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 one more thing that's very important um, that I would advise uh, ment uh, finding mentors, okay? I think maybe you have found mentors here, yes, uh, uh, with, with your teachers to help, to help you uh, move forward with your art. I've had uh, three very important mentors, uh, people that I, uh, looked up, I looked up to and they helped me a great deal. Thank you. I have my last question is oh. I forgot it. All right, Adija. <laughs> we'll take right we'll take Raif and then we'll start the tour. Um oh. Raif. <laughs> you had a very good first question, so she forgot the second one. Uh, that was a very good question. Um, did you also go to Europe and um, uh, inspired off of the art there too, just like your father, or did you just um, inspire off your mentors and your father? Uh, well, um, uh, that's a good question too. Uh, my, see, my uh, in my father's day, um, uh, Paris was the center of the art world, but. Um, uh, you know, when I when I was when I was uh, growing up, it was New York City, and um, so uh, I um, I eventually got got to New York City 
you know, traveling um, from Detroit. Um, um, I, um, I, have, I, I have gone back to, to Europe. Uh, when I was um, uh, in Detroit, uh, I was able to get a uh, scholarship to go on a dig, that is an archeological dig in uh, Italy. Um, and I, I was um, drawing the, um, the, the site, you know, um, archeologists, uh, they, uh, they dig and unearth. Uh, we, uh, we were looking for Etruscans. The Etruscans were the very uh, first uh, people uh, in Italy, a, dis a distinct, uh, a different people uh, than the than the Romans who came in, um, and um, so uh, uh, this um, a group of um, students, including myself, were there. Um, uh, uh, I was and I so I was drawing the um, uh, the, the 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 site. We we didn't actually find any um, evidence of Etruscans in our dig, um, uh, but. Um, it was, uh, it was, um, I enjoyed visiting uh, Italy and going to the museums. And I also got a chance during that time to go to Greece and see um, uh, the Acropolis and many sites there. Um, um, uh, my father was very interested in the art of, of, of Europe. Um, I've spent a lot of time actually studying the art of Africa um, and all the distinct, uh, you know, distinct cultures that that um, um, fascinate me. Uh, uh, so I, I consider myself um, um, an, uh, uh, an artist of the African diaspora. Um, so. Um, um, and, uh, as we look at my art, uh, I'll be able to explain a little bit uh, more about my, my influences. All right. I think it's time to get back into the tour. Yes. All right. Let's get started. So we come here to our first piece, and I'm going to give it away to Miss Avocado and Miss Butler. Ms. All right. Uh. Oh, Miss Avocado, Miss Avocado, or Miss Butler? You, it's okay. We can go from here. We can just bounce ideas off of each other. Um, Lovely. Yes. Okay, kids. So what we want you guys to look at is this first piece here, which, if we can get the zoom in. There we go. Thank you. The name is Free Jazz. Thank you, Giuseppe Logan and Henry Grimes. It was created in 2020, so this is one of his new works. You're getting, you know, exclusive first looks. He is working with the theme of abstraction, and his medium is India ink, gouache, and ink on arches. So certain things we want you to notice is how would you describe the piece, the movement within the work, and the forms that you see, whether it's just basic shapes or, you know, figures that you notice, take a look and really use your words to, you know, give a good description on what you see. And any of you can put your hand up and let us know what you're thinking. So I see some friends thinking, mm -hmm. uh, maybe if we're having some trouble, let's first start with what are some things that we're noticing? What are we seeing first? Jayla. Yes, sweetie. Go ahead, Jayla. Yeah, Jayla, you go. I noticed 
bonus that in this art piece, I can see a lot of different colors. And how it reminds me of, like, for example, a snake has these oh. types of patterns and different color strokes. And it's so colorful. It really makes me think about what can also inspire, inspire me to do something like this. And also, why did the, and why did it make me so grateful and happy when I saw it? That's a good question, Jayla. And hold on just one moment. So Jayla, I know you like to dance and in the title, this is, um, part of the title has a type of music. Um, it's called free jazz. So it's really interesting that you're seeing those colors um, and it, in, in a way like music inspires you, right? So I think, I think maybe if you think about this almost like it's music that might give you some ideas for like your own work, right? <laughs> I see, oh. <laughs> well, I wanted to ask you guys a question in there. Why do you think this is titled Free Jazz? I know jazz is a genre of music. People play instruments, I, but I don't know. Why do you guys think it's named Free Jazz? Oh. Madison. Madison. Madison, you can unmute. I think it's called free jazz because maybe because when they made this piece, they were they weren't really thinking that much and they were just free with their heart and going with whatever the brush um their what what they were using like the India ink was doing and they went with their heart with the painting. Okay. So, yeah, very good. <laughs> yes, very good. Um, I mean, hey, Mr. Williams, you yeah. tell us. I mean, Mr. Yeah. Williams is here himself, Madison, so he can tell you. Tell us oh, more about okay. this piece. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, 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 jazz, jazz is a type of music uh, that uses a, what's, what's called improvisation. And that is um, that the, the music is, uh, as, uh, 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 as has been noted, is, um, is uh, free and open, okay? And it's um, uh, spontaneous, okay? Um, let's say there might, be a, there might be a theme, but then uh, there's improvisation where the musicians make up as they go, they're not reading the music. It's coming from their imagination and they're creating. Um, so this, this, this music um, is free, uh, is, it, uh, free jazz is a, is, a, is a type of jazz where the improvisation is very, very important. No written music and the musicians are all creating together uh, mu the music as, as they perform. Um, the, uh, the, the title, I'm thanking two amazing musicians who unfortunately uh, passed away due to the virus. All right, so uh, I, you know, um, uh, well, okay. Uh, um, uh, you know, we, uh, we had a very important uh, actor that just passed away. Uh, anyone know who that was? You have to raise your hand. Anyone? Madison. Umu? We haven't Umu. heard of Umu. Um, I think you're talking about um, Black Panther. Yes, I'm talking about Black Panther. And so maybe one of you out of your feeling for the Black Panther, maybe you would like to create a, 
a work dedicated to him. Okay, uh, this is this is the this is the kind of uh, feeling. Um, uh, I, I'm a, I'm 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 giving a tribute to these two uh, musicians. Now, if you if you look, uh, this is uh, abstract, and abstraction is very close to the 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 music jazz. Okay, and because at the ab at an abstract work is it is basically uh when you create it you are drawing it from your imagination and you're working on it spontaneously um on the on the uh, left you uh, you see uh um uh all the way over on the left there is a actually a a, a saxophone um if you if you look over here yes the saxophone's coming down uh, and then, and and then, uh, you see, there's a person standing there. There's, if you look down and right in the middle, there's a foot. You see, there's a foot and a leg going up. And way over on the left, um, you see, there's there's another person standing there, but it's very, um, very abstract. But um, this. Is uh, so there's a, 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 a Giuseppe Logan played the saxophone and he's over here on the uh, on the left and the uh, the bass player uh, well Henry Grimes play, played the bass and the violin and you see these these lines that are going diagonally and you know the way um, the stand up bass or the violin there's a bow that's used to play it and this bow is going across. You see, and so if you look at these diagonal lines, they're going this way and that way and this way and that. Um, uh, this is uh, Henry Grimes playing his um, stringed instruments. So that's uh, that's free jazz. All right, um, and then we're gonna have a question. I would like someone to help me read this question. Dive into the past. Can we have uh, Umu read it? We have, we have Umu and Chase who would like to participate. Umu, go ahead, girl. I haven't seen you in a while. Mm -hmm. Can you read this for me? Um, how were you inspired to begin working in the arts as a kid? All right. Um, uh, uh, well, uh, this is a photograph of me um, uh, uh, high school um, uh, days, and the little symbol. You're in your, uh, you're in your Sunday best. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and, and over here on the left, that's the that's uh, the symbol of my high school, uh, or that's uh, you know the uh, I went to Cass Technical High School, um, which um, is a, a, a very important high school in Detroit. Um, if, uh, uh, particularly for the arts. Um, a lot of famous musicians uh, went there. Um, I grew up in the projects in Detroit, um, uh, the Jeffries Housing Projects, and across the expressway there was another project called the Brewsters, where the um, um, uh, 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 Diana Ross and the Supremes uh, lived over there in the Brewster Projects. Now, Diana Ross went to Cast Tech as well. Um, a, a, a lot of famous musicians went there. Um, um, you might know of the uh, comedian David Allen Greer. He, he also went there. Um, Lily Tomlin went there. So anyway, um, it's a famous high school. Um, I was, um, uh, uh, I was uh, influenced, though, um, uh, let me say, I was influenced by my father, who was an artist. And I'll tell you a little story. I, I was doing a, a, a lot of pen and ink. Okay, um, let, me sh let me show you all something. Um, do, do you see, you see this? Um, this is actually a, um, a drawing that my sister Yvonne and I did when we were Young, I, I I can't really remember, um, but um, uh, I would I would draw something. This is an abs uh, it's abstract, and it's done in India ink. 
I would, I would draw something and then hand the paper to my sister who would draw something and hand it back to me and it would go back and forth and back and forth um, until, until we, we, we filled the, the page. Uh, um, very, early, um, very early on, uh, we, didn't have a, um, we didn't have a TV and um, uh, there was always art around and my sister, sister and I would, um, would, would do artwork. Okay. I, I was I was doing a lot of uh, pen and ink drawings and doing a little uh, carving when I was around 13 or so and my father suggested a woodcut so I I began to research the, the woodcut um, and I got very involved in, in printmaking um, and I and I realized that the woodcut is a people's medium that is all of these cultures had a tradition of the woodcut, many cultures, uh, Japanese, Mexican. Um, uh, there's, um, there, are, there, there are African countries with distinct um, uh, woodcut traditions, South African. There's a Yoruba, a Oshogbo. Um, um, there's, um, uh, yeah, German, Japanese, Mexican, uh, many, many cultures. So anyway, um, um, uh, and each each of these cultures, uh, their woodcut tradition is very distinct and different. Um, so uh, um, um, this is this is one example of how um, you know I was influenced very early, you know, by my father in in that. Um, my father, uh, I didn't really take classes with him. Um, that is, uh, he didn't. Uh, uh, um, uh, give me lessons per se, but uh, through observing uh, him work, uh, this was very um, uh, influential. Okay. Um, anybody else have any questions, maybe about, like we're in the past stage, so does anyone have any questions about Mr. Williams' past? maybe elementary school to middle school to high school, just questions you want to know about you yourself as a young artist. Uh, Desire, you have your hand up. We're going to go to you. I have a question. How old were, were you when you decided that you, that you wanted to, to, to draw art? Okay, uh, that's a good question because because uh, I grew up in a creative environment where art was, um, uh, I had art materials all around me. My father was always working it. Um, I'll tell you, I, I assumed, that, that is, I thought that everybody did art at home. It wasn't until I got to high school when I realized that uh, every, everyone did not. Okay, so in a, in a sense, art was my first language, uh, uh, you know, making art. Um, and, uh, and then uh, in high school, because uh, this, this high school I went to had, a, had a, an art curriculum, but it was in commercial art. That is, um, commercial art being um, advertisements, making ads, um, okay, making posters, um, this kind of thing. But uh, the last year I was there, um, the head of the department changed, and the man who came in brought in uh, sculpture and um, other, uh, a, 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 well, a fine art curriculum. And then I, I found that I was in my element there. You know, I, I, um, so I, um, I really enjoyed um, stretching out and, and working in sculpt, sculpture and, and some of the, and, and printmaking and so on. Um, yeah. Does anyone else have any quick questions about Mr. Williams's past before we move on? Ooh. One more, oh. we're gonna go with Young Hope. Um, my question is, What's your favorite type of art, and why do you, why is it your favorite? Type? Oh wow, 
very good. Um, that's a very good question because I believe that the creative person want, uh, wants and is capable of doing any ev ev everything. You know, all these different mediums and so on, okay? But um, uh, we, um, um, uh, life is short. <laughs> okay, so um, I, I have focused on sculpture and works on paper, including printmaking, okay? So, uh, and only, only those uh, two. Although, you know, I, um, uh, 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 I have um, uh, an old Nikon and everybody has a phone uh, 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 that is a camera on their phone now. But uh, photography, uh, of course, is, uh, 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 it's also something that I've always done. But pri uh, primarily, uh, I, I, f I focus on the sculpture and the works on paper. Um, and um, uh, bet uh, between those two, um, I mean, uh, with my sculpture, I've worked with found objects and putting together thing, different things to create works. Um, my, uh, and uh, I work in clay and I carve wood and so on. There's so much within sculpture. Uh, uh, works on paper too, you know, I mean, watercolors, gouache, um, I, uh, and, and printmaking, I've, I've, I've always loved um, working on paper and I've stuck with that. Uh, there are, um, there are uh, what's called hierarchies um, in uh, art and that is how the art world looks at particular art forms. Um, painting is way up. Um, sculpture is way up, okay. But I, um, uh, uh, I love works on paper and sculpture. All right, so we're looking at um, another piece, I see. Um, and this piece is different from all the others you'll see. Does anyone know um, why from the description, why this one? why this one is different from all the others? Boys and girls, if you look at the medium, I think you'll find that you guys as well have done this in the past. I see Kimberly. Kimberly has her hand up. Kimberly. It's digital. Digital, yes, yes, yes. So the digital digital form, um, this this piece right here, uh, does not physically exist. All the other pieces, I can uh, actually, um, you know, um, well, they're in my studio right now, but I could actually, you know, show them to you um, in a physical form. I I could I could hang up on the wall. This. Um, is digital. Uh, how many of you have worked with the digital in digital form? Hand or you, the chat. Let's see them. How many of you? Oh, oh, you got some hands. Wow. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. And I was going to ask you guys, like, why do you think it's called trio? For anyone that does know what the word trio means, why do you think this piece is called trio? Oh, we haven't heard from Chase. I see Chase has his hand up. Yeah. <laughs> I accidentally had my hand raised. Oh, okay. But Chase, do you know what trio means? Mm -hmm. So what does trio mean? Three. Ah, yes. <laughs> so why do we think this piece is called trio? I mean, look carefully at it. What are you noticing? Why do you, why do you think Mr. Williams titled this trio? I see three flowers. Okay, you think three flowers? Okay. Mm -hmm. And I see rain. You also raise your hand. What do you think, rain? Um, 
I think that um, this is a trio because there are three things in this picture. Um, I can't tell. I mean, this is abs- this is abstract art. So um, yes, even though I can't tell what it is, I can understand that there's like three things in this um, picture that stand out the most. So that's why it's called trio. Okay. Um, uh, and and Jayla also placed in the chat. This kind of looks like the art is like is dancing through a sunrise. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, uh, uh, th- this is all all very good. Uh, this this work uh, uh, once again is uh, because um, one of my main uh, influences of my art running all the way through the art always is music. And uh, I always have music on um, when I work and I'm influenced by music. I, I have musician friends and um, I've been told that, uh, you know, I, I, um, I'm a closet musician that I'm really a musician, but I, I don't play an instrument. Um, but I, uh, I love music so much. And I'm always trying to capture music. Um, and here, um, if you look at the top uh, and the center, top and center, it's as if um, this work is being unveiled, like um, they're opening, a, a curtain is opening, and it's opening to um, these three uh, musicians. There's a saxophonist, once again, all the way on the left, that's a horn coming down and the, the, the musician is, is standing erect. There in the center is a piano player and the piano player um, actually from uh, I've, uh, my love of ancient Egyptian art, I'm also using symbols and signs and I'm using the ankh or life sign there, uh, the ankh uh, is a sign and uh, the um, uh, this, this, this musician is playing a piano. He's sitting and playing a piano. And over, way over on the right is uh, the drummer. Well, actually, it's a slit, uh, what's, what we call a slit drum. If you go to the Metropolitan Museum and the African Art Collection, you'll see these very large drums that are carved out of wood. Um, so you have these, this trio playing music. And it's very sunny, yes. And I, I used an amp a- app to create this um, uh, this this work. Um, all right. Um, all right. Uh, we have. Yeah, we have this. Then we got the process. Uh, Hadija has her hand up. Oh. Okay. Go ahead, Hadija. Um, you see the artwork you just showed us? Yes. Um, was it something like whatever you thought of? So you were trying to make a drawing, but whatever what you thought of in putting the drawing, you just drew it onto your paper, or you already knew what you were going to draw? Um... Um, uh, no, um, uh, okay, this is a good question in terms of how, um, uh, and it, it, it goes directly into the, the next question was about process, about how I actually work. So it's, you're, you're, uh, uh, this, is, this is great. Um, uh, I, uh, I, I use different processes uh, to, to, to work on my artwork. Um, uh, and um, uh, one of them is uh, where I might, uh, I might work uh, like a jazz musician spontaneously. Let's say I would, um, uh, let's say I would, I would um, work very uh, wet. And that is to say on a, a piece of paper, meaning that I would um, with watercolors um, put a lot of colors uh, in different areas of the paper and, and just let them flow together, okay? A very, very loose and abstract. And then what, what I might do is look at that and 
and then uh, uh, while I'm listening to to music, I might um, I, uh, I I let that dry, and then I might study it, study it, uh, and see what I can um, visualize. And then I then I might take a um, maybe a a black uh, India ink, and then uh, work into that, pulling out different um, uh, different um, uh, images. So uh, working in this way, um, uh, working with the negative and positive um, uh, areas of the of the, the abstract work to 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 say to say something, and and um, it, it uh, what I'm saying uh, what I what what might develop has to do with maybe what's going on uh, with me at the time, how I'm feeling. Uh, uh, you know um, what I want to express. Okay, that, that's one way uh, that I've, I've worked. Um, uh, an another way, of course, is is to have um, uh, a distinct idea, like um, uh, 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 well, I want to, um, you know, I want to do, you know, a something more more realistic, a portrait about, um, you know, someone. Um, and, and 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 so you know, a, a very distinct, different different approaches to to the work. Um, I um, I do like to work in a in a spontaneous um, uh, imp improvisational way. I have a question for the kids. Yeah. Yes. Um, kids, do you like to work spontaneously and just go with your gut? Raise your hand if you enjoy making your artwork spontaneously. Ooh, that's a lot of hands already. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Rama, Rain, Ryan, Ariana, Josiah. Can I Ray. say something? Of course. <laughs> yes, Rama. So, well, I really love to work spontaneously because like whenever I'm bored, right? I do yeah. art. I That's don't right. know what I'm gonna draw. Exactly. I just start. I just start from somewhere, and I just keep adding from there. Yes, exactly. Yes, and and um, uh, uh, you know, and uh, uh, okay. So when you're when you're bored, you you might even um, find yourself. Uh, setting up um, a, a, a problems that is. Um, oh my God, uh, thank uh, you, thank you. What's your name? Uh, Ashley. My name is Ashley. Um, art art, uh, art uh, can be about problem solving. Um, you set up um, um, uh, to find a solution um, to, it's almost like um, a puzzle. Okay, so um, um, uh, uh, exactly. So you're uh, you're feeling bored, and you 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 begin to work on something, and you don't really know what it, where, you don't. Uh, many times, the wonderment of it is you're you're as surprised as anyone else. You know, uh, you're going with it, going with the flow, and and um, you know you're you're enjoying the process. Uh, this is. Um, uh, exactly what I do. <laughs> and then we got Ryan. Thank yes, you. Yes, Ryan. Thank yeah. you, Rama, for that question. Yes, very good. Ryan? No? Okay, maybe Ryan doesn't have a question. We'll go to Jayla next. Here, Jayla. Oh, where'd you go, Jayla? No. Oh. Oh, he just said that question. How are you? Um, I think some just had their hands up from when we had asked if they like to work sponsored. Oh, okay. Hope. Mm -hmm. Hope, are you do you have anything to say? Yes. Yeah, go ahead. My question is when 
when you're drawing yes what is your what do you have a favorite subject like when you want to like or do you just pick like she said out of nowhere do you like to draw about music or do you like to draw about dance and different things like what's your favorite one even if you draw about all of them like if it is, do you had a favorite one what would it be? I, 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 do, I, I do um i do love to um draw about music and also i try in my sculptures at times to create things that are musical too and uh, um, uh, but then I, I think always uh, there's music in my art all, in all, all, all always because I'm always listening to it. At times I, I'm, I, I um, see I like to have like maybe three works of art going on because something happens. You know uh, this goes back to a question earlier about well you know like getting stuck and giving up. Sometimes you're working on something and it just doesn't look right. Okay, but I never ball the work up. I never say, oh, this is terrible and trash it. No, I, I just put it aside. I put it aside and, and in time I go back to it and um, then the, the, solu the solution will come to me. Oh, you know, I've got to do this or that or I've got to cover this up and put this over here, you know? And that's, that's how, that's how, you know? But uh, yeah, music, uh, music is definitely way up there as my number one <laughs> uh, a, a thing that I like to, 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 to work on at all times, <laughs> yes. I have one more question. Yes. Do you ever draw out of emotion? Like when you're sad, do you draw pictures that are sad? Uh, <laughs> yes, you're right. You're uh, yes, very good because we're going to talk about a work of art that that I was very sad about. Yes, um, and that's very important to us artists because although although I'm talking to you, uh, you know, like this, I'm I'm not really a big uh, talker. You know, uh, I'm uh, uh, that is to say, I talk through my art. And my my family here. Oh, what happened? No, someone just got unmuted by accident. Oh, okay. But you were, yeah, you were saying you talk through you you talk through your art. I, I talk through my art, so I put my emotions through my art. When, uh, 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 when I'm when I'm when I when I am sad, let's say, I can put how I feel through my art and express myself through my art. Um, um, in a, in, a, in a way, this is how I feel like, like I communicate. I c communicate the best through my art. Um, um, we have the, the uh, student Kiana Cohen keeps coming unmuted. Is she trying to ask um, a question? I have a question. Yes. It's actually not Rama, it's Hadija. My computer died, that's why. Oh. <laughs> okay, Hadija. So, you see at first when you said whenever, you see whenever you think of an artwork, you just put it onto paper? Um, yes, very, very spontaneously, yes, <laughs> yes. Yes. That's what I always do whenever I want to do art because usually I don't know what I want to draw. Uh, yes, yeah. and and uh, it's it uh, isn't it a surprise when you're when you're working and you and you you, you finish it. <laughs> Adisha, where? I have some examples. Oh, um, just, okay. can I show? Sure. Yeah. Can I show sure. just one? Of show course. One. Okay. Okay. I don't think it's good. So. Um, your screen is off. If you want to show us, we can't see yet. Wait, one sec. Um, can you see it now? 
Yes, we can. Uh, and Hadija, never start off showing your work by saying you don't think it's very good. Oh, because you, you have to have that confidence. Yeah, uh, believe in yourself. All right. Um, I think that may be it for our questions right now. All right. So let me get into our next artwork. So I was telling Mr. Williams when we were in a call, this is actually my favorite artwork here. Um, this one is called Love, Miss Avocado. Oh, or I was gonna. I was gonna say this is Mrs. Butler's favorite. Let her. Oh, M Mrs. Butler, take it away. Let yes. her take it away. <laughs> so this is also um, my favorite. Um, I particularly love the colors that are used um, and just the form that you see. Um, but we're gonna talk a little bit more about what we notice and how we interpret this piece. Okay. So it was also created in 2020, okay, so very recent, very new, okay. Remember, he is working abstractly, um, similar medium to the, one of the first pieces that we saw, which is India ink, gouache, and ink on arches. Um, and so I want to open it up to all of you to tell me what do you think, or like how does this artwork make you feel? Um, think about the title, think about the colors, think about what you're seeing, okay? I, I would like to add on to that, Mrs. Butler, by also, kids, think about it when you're looking at abstract art as if it's like clouds in the sky and you're looking for shapes and images that you may not see at first, but focus and you will find them. So I Jayla, see. Jayla, raise your hand. <laughs> so I see that Jayla um, has some thoughts about it. Jayla, you can unmute. <laughs> yeah, we can see your chat, but say it. Say it. It kind of looks like an animal in the middle. Okay? Like <laughs> under, like, you, so you see some shape in the middle. You think it's maybe an animal? Okay. Mm. Anybody else? Observ very interesting observation, Jayla. Anyone else seeing something? I think it's love. What? What? Why is it named love? Maria. Mm. I think it's it's named love because. The way I see it, it's like it, it has a form, but it also looks messy. And love sometimes can be very messy at times. Sometimes you can fight me with the person. You never know. Maria, um, what you know about love, girl? I'm thinking of the real life here. I was wise. <laughs> I was super wise. Yeah, that was. <laughs> yes. It's true. It's true. <laughs> yes. Anybody else, any thoughts about this piece and why it's called love or anything else you've noticed about it? Maybe it's form, it's shape. For me, I told um, Mr. Williams when I first saw this, it made me, I, you guys know, some of you do know, I'm a science teacher. So I literally saw a heart. I saw like an aorta and I saw like the different tissue that's around the heart. And for some reason, that's what my brain envisioned, like all the little like veins and capillaries and arteries and, and that have to do with our heart. That's what I saw. I have a question. Yes. Okay. My question is, um, when you were when you were drawing, when whoever was drawing this, was yes. it there when wait? When they were drawing this artwork, 
it, how? It, it's not whoever. It's Mr. Williams. He drew it. Oh, sorry, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, one, Miss Delino, when you were drawing this one, you were using the paint. Did you mean to make it colorful, or when you were painting it, the paint went all over the place, and so you changed the paint design? Um, uh, good question. The um, uh, the the my process was like this. I I took. I took the white paper and I coated it completely with India ink, painted all over and let it dry. And, and then I, I, uh, I um, what would I, would I consider pooling? I, um, I took some of these colors that you see, like uh, the red and the, um, the, the, uh, the, the blue and the yellow, uh, well, uh, some of these colors were put on very wet, like um, they um, they just flowed. Okay, so the paper was very wet with these colors. Okay, and then um, uh, uh, as as they as it was drying a little bit, then I, I took the, the the blue and I I, I moved that around into uh, into the work. Um, and, and, and then I took this yellow and, uh, took a larger brush and just dipped it in and, and, and stamped it all over. Okay. Once that, oh. once that was dry completely, I, I went into the, 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 the work with a white, uh, ink. Um, so I, I began to, um, okay, um, uh, I think, uh, at the same time, well, I, I, I'll tell you, my motivation for this was I created this after I, uh, I heard about what had happened to Elijah McCain, okay, um, who um, was um, a, very, a very young black boy who was just walking listening to his music and he was happy and he was dancing and um, um, so, uh, you know something just terrible happened to him and I, I um, uh, 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 you know I, I created this work um, uh, after that um, oh Oh, yikes. Um, Is everything okay? Um, yes. All right, so I worked into it with the white ink. <clears throat> I was thinking about, yes, I, I thought, uh, this work has multiple interpretations. That is, you can, you can, um, uh, you can come up with, uh, uh, Many, many different um, uh, ideas. So yes, it 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 has a heart a heart form. It ha it uh, it has um, a wings like an angel. Uh, it has um, uh, if you look closely the violin um, violin uh, uh, Elijah played the violin, and you can see violin forms throughout this the piece. Um, um, because what I also did was I took India ink and I um, worked inside the piece as well, um, making um, these vi vi the edges of the violin uh, more uh, evident that you could see that. Um, yes. Any any. Any questions or thoughts about this painting? Definitely, that was very tragic, the story of Elijah McClain. I know maybe some of you kids may know about it, maybe you don't, but I know maybe your parents have seen it on TV, and it was a very tragic case. Young man. 
<clears throat> but we won't stay too long over here. If you guys um, no longer have any questions or thoughts, um, we'll move on to our next question that we have designed. Um, who cares to read? Who cares to be one of the people that read this next question about mind state? <laughs> Rama, raise use the raise the hand feature, Rama. I see Umu's hand. I see Umu's hand. Yeah. Got a few people. Oh, I see Ryan. Go ahead, Ryan, because I know last time you tried it and it didn't work. Go ahead, Ryan. What's going through your mind before you start working on a new piece? Uh, usually music, <laughs> <laughs> music, um, um, well, uh, you know, it, it, it depends, um, uh, um, you know, it, it, um, it, um, uh, um, well, I'll tell you, uh, um, during the, during the lockdown period, I, uh, I I was um, uh, um, I was setting setting up uh, uh, the the uh, the way I was working um, with my India Ink. Um, in a way, I was going back way back to when I was quite young, uh, doing these India Ink uh, drawings. But um, uh, I used to make these and do um, a wood, uh, make a woodcut. But um, I. Um, um, I, so, uh, you know, recently I've been working on my sculptures, but because of the lockdown, I was not able to go out and find, look for materials to put together to create them. So I was doing works on paper. I, and as I was describing earlier, I would put um, usually uh, India ink covering the paper and then working on top of that. Um, and I've been working a very, a very wet, that is um, cooling the colors and then um, working very spontaneously and then deciding at that, uh, uh, as, as the, the paint dries, a sense of what this is, what it's going to be about, what the title is going to be, and, and just uh, um, uh, in, in enjoying uh, what works out. At times I might have three pieces going on at the same time. Um, Sometimes when I sleep, even uh, because the the I, I believe the creative mind is still working, even though uh, you know you're asleep, and I might wake up and know the solution to a piece. I've had works that, um, for example, a, a sculpture of mine. I had pieces that I kept for years, not knowing. Uh, what I'm going to do with this, but then uh, realizing that it worked on top of, you know, or in, 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 um, in this sculpture. Um, so things can take, um, things can be very fast or they can take a long time. Um, and I, I can, I, I, I find, I can uh, find myself looking at work that I've put in, in, the, in, in my flat file drawer to work on uh, and a, a piece gets resolved. Like I'm having a discussion with my younger self, you know, in a way. Um, because I, I don't, as I say, I don't throw away the work. I don't just dis get discouraged and ball it up and throw it away. I just put it aside and, and go back to it. Um, Ariana Pena, next up. Ari. Oh, I think that was a mistake. Hope. Yes, my question, um, I have a question. My question was yes. that what is India ink? Oh, okay. Um, well, it's, um, it's, a, it's a black ink, which is, um, uh, it, is not, uh, it is not water soluble, or that is to say, once it's dry, 
uh, once it's dry, uh, it it, um, it, uh, it it won't. Um, um, uh, uh, you you can put other colors on it, and the black won't mix with it. So once it's it's dry, it's there, and um, you know, and and, and also um, vice versa. You could like um, paint with watercolors or, or gouache, and and let that dry, and then go over that with the India ink. And it'll cover cover it entirely. You see. Anyway, it's it's um it, it's a, a it's a, a very black uh, ink uh, that is not water soluble. Uh, that is, uh, you know. What is? I'm sorry. Yeah. What did you say? Uh, what, what did you say? Is hope? water soluble? Okay. Uh, um, okay. Well, um, let's say. You know, um, your, your, your watercolors, uh, your watercolors, poster paints, gouache, uh, when you, if, you, if you put that on a piece of paper, okay, and it dries, you could actually go back into it uh, with water and it'll loosen up again. It'll loosen mm. up, and, uh, you see, um, it'll loosen up or, or, or uh, it might mix, um, let's say if you had a red, you put a red down, and you and you put a yellow. Um, the red, if you let that red dry, if you put a yellow uh, on it, it it, it may uh, pick up and mix. Okay, <clears throat> okay. With India ink, once it's dry, it's um, you know it, it's not going to mix with uh, any of your colors. No. Okay. You can um, while it's wet, you can dilute it. You can that is you can make it lighter. Uh, by adding water to it. Okay. But once it's dry, it's you know per it's permanent. It's a permanent ink, um, you know, uh, rather than a um, an ink that um, uh, uh, or watercolor that you know uh, mixes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Ariana, did you want to ask a question? I know your hand kept going up and down, so I want to make sure before. We head out for the next part. No, it's just a okay. All right, so let's get back into it. We have our last piece. Um, let's, let's get in there. So this is our last piece that we're gonna stop in for, for, for our tour in our gallery and it's called, Can I Get a Witness? Yes. So, I want you to think about um, just all of the things that maybe you've heard about um, just on the news, things that are happening around you. Um, as we look at this piece, so it was created in 2014. It's still very relevant today. Um, especially with all that's happening. And so I want you to think, what does this remind you of? And what do you think about this piece? How do you feel? Oh, I see Maria. Yeah, I was just gonna say, Maria. Um, what it makes me think about is the protest we have these days about uh, about Black, Black Lives uh, Matter. Um, and it makes me think that people are gathering it together and saying that we, they should join the march so then they could finally get justice with all the people that are not getting justice. Yes, excellent, excellent, <laughs> excellent. See hope. Hope, do you want to speak? My, my, um, what I think this picture is about is like, I think that person <laughs> in the middle is a person who is being accused of something that they probably didn't do. And I think all those people around them are what is like, I see, I think I see like big pictures fingers on the side like pointing at them and how i saw a lot of eyes 
and how like everybody's like looking at them saying that you did it like because usually when, when people are when real life when people are in the police when black people they just don't even do anything and people stop them on the street and things happen with the police that's what i think that picture is about. Yes. And I and no and think can I get a witness is like trying either trying to say like this also happens to other people, or also another way to say that can I, yeah like that like well like is anybody also seeing what I see? One of the things about witnesses is that a witness is someone who sees what happens. Mm -hmm. and sees unfortunately like the crime or the lack thereof and a witness can speak out to either tell you know to tell the truth about what's going on mm -hmm. and what actually took place so all these eyes what do you what do you think about Mar um maria with that witness oh not maria i'm sorry that was hope and I that saw was hope Ryan, and i saw Ryan. Yeah. you also had your hand up you could join the conversation. Yeah. Join it. Go ahead, Ryan. Um, um, he wrote in the chat that he agrees it's, with hope. I oh, believe. You, you agree with hope? Um, so, yeah, I agree with her. And I think that, like, it's called Can I Get a Witness? Like, because he went, like, the person, like, is saying, can I get a witness for what really happened? Mm -hmm. Because they may be accused of something and what, of what they, and they may have not really did it and they want a witness and they want, and they kind of want a witness to tell the truth about what happened. Mm. <laughs> I see Hope put a thumb up. Hope got a good reaction. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. Can anyone tell me about this corner? Like this corner is very different from the rest of the corners. I see eyes, but in this bottom right corner, like I see like objects that look eerily familiar. Does anyone have any idea? Desire? Desire. It kind of looks like a gun. Mm. Mm -hmm. So we said we have guns, we have a lot of eyes, we have spectators. And then we have somebody that's on their knees. Like, what do you think this whole image is then depicting? Can I get a witness? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Now that you pointed that out, I think I get it a little bit more. And I agree with what the, um, what the last per the person right after me had said is that I like to like rephrase what I said so it makes more sense. Like, like you just said, I think it's like the other person that spoke before me just said, I think that they're like all looking and pointing at him, look, saying, I used, I thought those were fingers, but now I see it now. It's like, it's good. So, so what I think is that the people are all, no. <laughs> Okay, sorry. And uh, the people are all looking at him, telling him that he did something. And the other uh, police obviously believe that and are pointing their guns at him, just like pointing their finger at him, like saying that he did it. All right. And Mr. Williams, I mean, can you give us some light of background into this one? Yes. Um... All right. Uh, um, uh, those those uh, interpretations of the work were all excellent. <laughs> all excellent interpretations. Um, um, yeah. yeah, I just put it on you so um, you could speak. So I kind of put the spotlight on you now and just like, oh. talking about this piece. I'll put it back up in a while. Okay. So uh, uh, th all those in interpretations were just um, all uh, very good. And uh, um, 
Um, the, 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 um, this work was created years, some years ago, uh, 2014, um, using India ink. Um, there, there's a little bit of color, little tiny bit of color, but not much. Um, uh, and um, it, it was um, a, it was done very quickly um, using the India ink. Uh, it, uh, um, my, uh, Michael Brown um, had, um, had been uh, uh, killed um, and um, uh, I, uh, I, 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 I did this work and then I did uh, a cut a woodcut exactly that looks very as close as possible to this in India ink um, uh, uh, drawing. Um, so yes, um, uh, the interpretation of, of these are guns over on the right. There are two. Um, uh, uh, the, the eyes. Um, um, uh, de uh, de depicting. I mean, uh, today. Today, everyone has a a phone, practically with a, a camera and or video capacity, and these incidents are being captured. Um, the world is looking, the world is seeing these, uh, 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 these crimes. Um, and uh, so the, the, world, the world is watching um, um, uh, un, unarmed uh, black uh, youth for the most part, but young women too uh, being killed. Um, and so uh, the eyes, the guns, and um, these um, um, these two triangular shapes um, uh, all represent um, the um, the racism in in our country. Um, uh, the tops of of uh, hoods. Um, Sorry. Yes. Okay. All Sorry. right. So, uh, uh, Hope, Hope, did you have anything else to say about it? Or is that from last time? Oh, I no, thank you. All right. Yeah, I, I would definitely say Love may have been um, my favorite work, but I definitely think Can I Get a Witness like was the most powerful work to me. Yes, it spoke to me um, just in abundance with everything that's going on. I think yes. for us as educators and the students, I think we were hit with like two travesties. Uh, we school was closed due to our pandemic that's currently going on, and in the midst yeah. of all of that, yes, these stories of African Americans and people of color, yes, getting brutalized by the system or structure, whether it's police and it's just wrong. And it's just, it's just awful when, you know, there's so much information out there. And I think as a kid, it's like a lot to process when like you, yes. see, it. Yes. you see it all the time, it's recorded all the time and it's put on the news. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, yes. Yeah, no, I wanted to say that um, both love and can I get a witness um, kids you notice that that they're both really talking about the same content but in different ways yes. and how love is about the person and remember remembering the person while can I get a witness is like but also remember what happened and how this person came to pass. And so I think both are very important to this conversation that I know is going around for a lot. Yes. Do. So. Uh, um, uh, um, I'd like to say uh, uh, that's a good, really good point because um, love is, um, 
is very abstract, and uh, uh, and and so the as uh, these these interpretation uh, you know uh, uh, different and in, uh, it could be viewed in these different interpretations, uh, but um, um, can I get a witness? Is more uh, symbolic. Um, the 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 form of um, the the hands up that um, uh, uh, is also the the hieroglyph for the ka the eternal soul. Yes, uh, and also in, important in the in the in the, this cosmology of the Dogon people. Um, um, that is, you know, the up the raised hands, um, the ka, yes, um, the eternal soul. Um, so um, I, and I had, um, I looked at a, a picture of Michael Brown and he, uh, gave him, there, the, there was a photograph of him in his graduation, um, the, what he was wearing anyway. And, and, and so that was uh, put, uh, drawn into the work as well. Um, so th it, it was um, th this was more specific uh, and uh, uh, a love it, it was it, it is is more abstract. Um, okay. Hey. And then we have our final question. I know we ran over time, so. I want to give the floor to the kids afterwards to ask any final questions. But I guess like if you can briefly tell us like what is integral like necessary to make your work feel complete as an artist and what do your pieces need for resolution? That means like finality for you kids and like ending. Because like as an artist, you can go on forever and never stop and never like what <laughs> I'm asking Mr. Williams, what does he feel like it's like this is ready to um, go. I want to present yeah, this. Uh, uh, that, that's an that's an excellent question because um, as you, as you work on an, uh, as an artist, you uh, you get to the point where you know that uh, if you mm, if you continued, you could actually it could it could be too much. You could overdo. You could uh, uh, you could. Um, uh, you know, uh, there, there, there's a there's a fine there's a fine point where you just have to decide that the work is complete. That um, taking it a little further would um, would offset the balance. Okay, so uh, you know, I mean, um, uh, compositionally, color wise, you know, all these factors coming in. Um, whether this this work. You know, is 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 complete, um, but it, it's such a good question because uh, I think for for me uh, in my home I don't have my artwork on the on the walls. I don't have uh, I I I have other uh, artists' work on the walls because I have a tendency to uh, to think well. You know, well, I, you know, I could change this. I, I could, uh, you know, in time, I could, I could take it down and change it. Um, but uh, you know, anyway, I mean, it's just, it's, it, I, uh, you, um, you know, you just re reach a point where you, you make that decision that, well, um, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, sometimes, uh, and if you're, if, if I'm undecided, I will set the work aside and then come back to it uh, and you know at a later point it could be resolved you know um, but um, yeah I, I uh, yeah that's a very good question <laughs> um, this is our final part this is just any last questions you guys have for Mr. Williams thank you so much Mr. Williams um, but uh, Kids, take it away. Hope you start off first. Any final questions you have for Mr. Williams? My question is. Yes. If you could, if you, if you were making your last painting, 
like, and you wanted to make it the best painting you'd ever been, what would, what would it be? <laughs> Shucks. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> well, uh, uh, honest, honestly, you, you, uh, you can't really, um, uh, <laughs> um, uh, uh, I can't really answer that. Um, um, I, 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 can, I can tell you, um, okay, that Mr. Williams is about making the best art that he can possibly make, okay? And that, 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 that piece is gonna represent me, okay? And, and, and hopefully, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, have meaning, uh, as you say, with the last, <laughs> hopefully have meaning when I'm not here, you see. Uh, so, but I'm, a, I'm about making the best art I can possibly can. Yeah. Anybody else with any other questions? Chase. Jayla, I see you guys in the chat. Anybody, Chase, you have a question? Uh, Mr. Yadabara. Yes. Uh, I, wanna, I wanna tell the students that, um, okay, that uh, if you have any more questions though, when you go, you know, later, that this isn't the end of, you know, our, uh, my relationship with you young artists, okay? And that um, you, um, uh, you can get, uh, you know, think about it and, and uh, you know, we're gonna continue. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Thank you so much, Mr. Williams, for coming and attending our Neighborhood United Canvas Kids Art, um, Canvas Kids Art Program. I want all of you to take your mics off and on and give a big round of applause for Mr. Michael Kelly Williams. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. The best to all of you and your art. And the Honda Forever. Yes. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. So Chadwick Boseman, you are a superhero to all these kids and it just showed kids that there are superheroes that look like you and yes, there are people out there that represent you. Your superhero could be your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, the, the teacher at your school, the police officer that helped your family through a tough time, your doctor, whatever it may be. There's heroes out there that look just like you. Yes. And, you could, and you're going to be someone's hero one day also. Yes. <laughs> well said, Mr. Yadaberry. Yeah. Well said. Well said. Thanks. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And Thanks. for any of you kids that are interested, uh, next Saturday at 1130, we're going to start doing coding programming. So... Coding. Co mm -hmm. Ooh, Ryan, Ryan popped up. Yes, I'll be sending out emails about coding uh, after this program. And next Saturday, starting again, we start our art classes again. And we're going back into digital art. We're going to be uh, doing some creations with Mr. Avocado and Mrs. Butler. So be prepared for that. I know you guys love Canvas Kids, but if you guys are really interested in coding, Definitely, I'll send out the link for the coding sign up. Come through. It'll be like right before you have, it'll go from 11.30 to 12.30. You'll have a 30 minute break gap. And then from one o'clock, if you want to come back, you can come back for the art class to two o'clock. It's up to you. You don't have to, you could do both or you could do either or. And Mrs. yes. Sorry, I was just gonna say, Mrs. Butler, are you excited to be finishing the murals with these kids? Very, very excited. Um, and also just you know, really, really proud of all of you um, for like sticking it through. Um, we've really been working hard on those murals. Um, and don't worry, we have a very big surprise planned for all of you. Um, but we'll tell you more about that in art class, okay? Ooh, yes, yes, we have to slow down because I'm gonna spoil it. I'm just <laughs> so <laughs> exciting. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Excellent. 
All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Williams, once again. Thank you. Really thank you. appreciated it. This, this was an awesome treat for us. Yeah, thank you. Um, Sorry, Isaiah, we won't spoil it. <laughs> Not spoiling it, Isaiah. <laughs> but how do you guys feel? Who, who's, who's ready to go draw after this? <laughs> make some artwork or make a piece. Emoji, thumbs up if you are in your reactions, if you're ready to work on something new. <laughs> Afterwards. All right. Very good. Well, I, I, I'd be interested in seeing, uh, you know, works, you know, that are produced after this. If, if anyone, um, uh, uh, any of the st uh, students want to share later um, art pieces that are created, you know, in, 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 in response to seeing what I've shared today. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Yes. All right. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Williams. Thank you so much, everybody. I know we went over, but I hope you guys enjoyed our art tour. Uh, I hope you give give a round of applause for yourselves. Give a round of applause right. for yourselves. Let's not even forget that. Yes. Like you guys come through almost every Saturday. Some of you are new faces and that's okay. And I hope this is maybe an entryway into art, taking art seriously or maybe you're like i want to be an artist this is my life's dream and this just put the battery in my back to continue my life. <laughs> and if you guys make anything inspired by mr williams please send it to neighborhood united we would love to see your stuff all right thank you Everybody, if you want to put your screen on for a little second, let's Wakanda forever. And we're about to close the chat. Thank you guys. Double tap it for the Bronx as well. Wakanda and the Bronx forever. Bye. 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 Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Stop it. We're not going to allow you to be in the chat anymore if you continue Bye. that. Bye. 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 Have a nice day, everyone. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye Ryan. Bye. Stop. Stop. Chase, do you have any questions? I feel like you've been very quiet today. You enjoyed it, Chase? Bye. You enjoyed it? Yeah. What did you enjoy most? Stop. I enjoy seeing the pictures. Okay. Okay. How about you, Ariana? How are you? Ariana, gone. Bye. 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 And Kimberly, how are you feeling? Oh, I think Kimberly's frozen. Pat, pop out, man. Where did Martha go? She left. Oh. Hey, Pat. What's going on? This is, Hello, this, Mr. Is, Butler. this is Mr. Butler. Mr. Butler, meet Mr. Williams. <laughs>